Welcome to Digital Asset News. Today, instead of talking about the news itself, I want to talk to you about something a little bit uh, much more important, and that is about scams and spoofing. So what I want to go over is, uh, first of all, who needs this video? We're going to take a look at a, a non-scam example, a scam example, then I'm going to show you the link of how you can use the exact tool that I use in this video so you can avoid all the scams that everybody is going through. So first of all, who needs this video? Well, if you get any type of emails that look uh, pretty legit, anything from uh, from financial, from insurance, from whatever else, especially if you're in the crypto and digital asset space, uh, this is probably one of the most important videos you're ever going to watch. I get emails daily of people who have lost everything or just some of their proceeds from scammers because they fall into different traps like that. So that is the first person. The second person is I've been getting a lot of spoofed emails, meaning scammers are using my exact email address and they are sending information to different projects going, hey, I'll do a video for you. Just pay me $600, $1,000, $10,000 and I'll do a video. And the scary thing is, is that they keep falling for it. So I keep getting emails from people going, hey, your exact email was used to scam me out. And I'm gonna show you exactly why that isn't the case. And it's actually just a bunch of scammers called spoofing. So that's essentially who needs this video. So now we're gonna go over real quick a non-scam example and a scam example just to lay it all out. So this is a non-scam example. This is uh, an email from my insurance company, Triple S here in Puerto Rico. And uh, they're just saying, hey, uh, click here to you know, read in English or continue with uh, for, for, benefit, for the benefits. So I'm thinking to myself, well, first of all, is this real? Because you never know what's real or what's not. Because again, uh, there are emails coming with my exact same email address. So this is what you do. And I'm going to show you how to use this in Yahoo, in Gmail, in Outlook, and all different different types of uh, servers that you have for email services. So there's three dots right here, right next to spam, three dots. And it's going to say, view the raw message. So when you click on that view the raw message, it's going to come up on a secondary screen and you're going to have all this code. And all you want to do is you want to control A or command A and copy everything. And you're going to come over here to a website called Google Admin Toolbox. And I picked this one because it's reputable. It's from Google. It's from their services. So you can trust it, which is a good part. And you're going to paste the email header right here. So I'm just going to paste this again right here. And that's everything that we need right there. And it's going to, there's a button that says analyze the header above. We're going to click on that. And with a couple seconds, this is going to pop out. It's going to say SPF pass, DKIM, pass, pass, DMARC, pass. First of all, uh, what are all these things? Well, if we're taking a look at DKIM, DKIM stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail. It's an email authentication method designed to detect forged sender addresses and email, a technique often used in phishing and email spam. And then DMARC is an email authentication protocol. It's designed to give email domain users or owners the ability to protect their domain from unauthorized users. So when we're taking a look at this, we want to make sure that all of these pass. And then down here where it says delay, we want to see if there's if there's a delay no more than one of them and we're going to see this in the actual uh, example which we're going to go over right now which is the scam example so this is the one that i have recently got this is rent right to my email from coinbase looked pretty legit looked like it was from coinbase the legit coinbase domain and it says hey uh your phone number was changed to this if you didn't make this action, action to verify your account with the old number, this happens all the time. And people lose their money all the time because what it's going to do is going to have you sign in. It's going to steal all your data. It's gonna, then going to go to Coinbase and drain your entire account. But how can I tell that this was from Coinbase or not from Coinbase? Because it says Coinbase.com. And some of them will be very easy to see. It'll be like Coinbase.com forward slash X53575, which is some gobbledygook. You're like, okay, I get that one. But if it's someone like where it's like the exact legit email address, just like from mine, which looks uh, legit, you're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a look here. We're going to click on these three dots, view the raw message that's going to come up. We're going to take that information. We're going to paste it in here and we're going to click on analyze the header above. And then you're going to notice some things. First of all, you're going to see not everything passed. The SPF passed pass with an IP unknown. The DKIM is unknown, the DMARC is unknown, and also look at these delays. What had happened is that it had initially gone through the original server, and then it had hopped onto another server, which is the scammers or vice versa, and it had sent it over to what it looks like could actually be. This is called email spoofing, 
and this is what is happening with mine. So right here, you can I can tell you right now, this is not from Coinbase. This is not from other any any legit uh, organization. So if you do this every single time, if you're unsure, you won't get scammed. Another thing is, if you're still unsure after going through all those processes, going, you know what, I just don't know if this is real because I don't know if I can even trust this, then go to the official source. Send an email to Coinbase, send them, well, that's all you can really do because Coinbase is not the best customer service. And just say, hey, I just got an email from you guys. Is this the, the, the legit thing? Because sometimes it actually is a legit thing. So you'd have to reach out to the original resource and say, did you do this? So on my end, like if someone spoofs my email and sends it out, if those people just would have sent me an email back, I could have said, this is a scam. Actually, I do this every, every, uh, almost every day when people are saying, did you, did you talk to me on, on this platform, that platform? No, I didn't. Well, it's your same email. It was spoofed. And this is exactly what is going on. So that takes care of the exact uh, scam example. And the last thing I want to show you, let me blow this up so you can see it, is how are you going to actually uh, interpret this for all the email headers? Because you may not have Yahoo, maybe you have Gmail, maybe you have Outlook or something like that. When you go to Google Admin Toolbox, there is a link right here. It says, first on the right-hand side is how do I get email headers or interpreting email headers. If you click on that interpreting email headers, it'll give you how to do that as far as like get that raw data that we saw before in from Gmail or other email services like AOL, Excite, Hotmail, Yahoo, Apple, Mozilla, Opera, Outlook, Outlook Express, and so on and so forth. So hopefully that answers some of your questions as far as how to do those things. And then lastly, to finish this all up, there is a link in the description of every one of my videos from now on. It's at the very top. It looks just like this. And that is going to link you to the Google Admin Toolbox where you, can, where you can do the exact same thing I did. And I recommend you do that for any email that you have any questions about just to make sure. Even if it looks like it's coming from the exact original, just do it this way. Especially if they're asking you for money, if they're asking you for your data or your personal information. Make sure you do not give that away until you double and triple check verify because I see people lose their entire life savings every single week in crypto and digital assets and even if you're watching this video for other types of things so that's the big thing so the link is there and then lastly i'm just going to ask you for this this video is important i think you know somebody who could use it i want you to share this video with every single person that you know because i think they're going to need this info so they don't lose out and get taken by scammers like everybody else potentially could have and that's it so look if you like this video, you found a little bit of value, first I want to say thanks for sticking with me. Consider uh, subscribing. Hit the like button. And that's uh, it for today. So thanks so much for watching this one. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.